Hello, do you recognize this? Yep, this is the double slit interference pattern. You have seen it many, many times. But have you ever asked this question? Why are the fringes not equally bright, right? It's kind of brighter at the middle and dimmer at the sides, right? And why are there like some missing fringes here and here? So today I'm going to review to you something that I've been keeping from you all this time. When I was explaining the double slit interference pattern, I told you that there's one single ray leaving each slit. But that's not true because each slit actually has a certain width. So we do not have one single ray but instead infinite number of rays leaving the slit. So we actually have two types of interferences happening at the same time. The lights from the two slits are interfering with each other to produce a double slit interference pattern and at the same time the lights from each individual slit is interfering with itself to produce a single slit interference pattern. So this is the single slit interference pattern and this is the double slit interference pattern. Both are happening at the same time. The result looks like this. So you see, all these fringes are the double slit interference pattern, right? The red lines match the red lines here. But the fringes are not equally bright. They are kind of like enveloped, right? Look at the dashed line. There's kind of like an envelope there. And that envelope is a single slit diffraction pattern. See, this envelope matches the single slit diffraction pattern. So now when you see this pattern, you must be able to recognize that these fringes are the double slit interference pattern. But the fringes are not equally bright. There's kind of an envelope here of the brightness. And that envelope is the single slit interference pattern. If you are doing a calculation based on the fringe separation, you'll be doing delta y is equal to l lambda over d, where d is the slit separation. If you are trying to calculate the angle at which you have the missing fringes, you'll be using the single slit formula. The first minimum angle equals to lambda over b, where b is the slit width. One way to really understand this pattern is to remind yourself that the light from the two slits, when they arrive at the screen, they don't arrive with the same brightness. The two beams of light from the two slits will arrive brightest at the middle and dim down towards the sides as according to the single slit interference uh, pattern. So now when these two beams of light interfere with each other to produce the bright fringes, naturally the outcome of the constructive interferences will also have their brightness that vary according to the single slit diffraction pattern. Get it? Okay, ta-ta!